guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be painting something that I 3d printed again and this time it is Hogwarts Castle from Harry Potter so this prints in two parts you have a base and then you have the castle now this is designed to be a candlelight um, that little base that I showed you before, it actually has a hole in it and you can slide a battery operated tea light under there and then you print your castle with 0% infill and it will light up your castle. So unfortunately I won't be able to take advantage of that today because of the painting that I'm going to do on it. It doesn't really look good when it lights up but I just wanted you guys to know that you do have that option with this model. I got this model from Mini World and I will leave all that information down below where you can download it and print it for yourself. And so as always the first thing I am doing is putting a base coat on the entire thing. And you saw how I mixed these colors just a few moments ago. I used a like mustardy kind of brownish color, a darker brown and a gray. And then I went ahead and did a second coat as well. And now I'm gonna do the same thing to the base. Now I'm just taking that same color brown and I added some white to it. And I'm taking a stiffer brush and I'm just kind of brushing on some lighter details so that it looks like there's some variation in tones on the castle. And right now I'm doing it on the front as well and it's picking up on more of those raised details. And now I mixed a color for the roof and I'm really sorry guys, I don't remember the colors that I mixed together to get this color, but I'm going to be painting all the rooftops with it. And if you guys actually care to see me mixing the colors like I did earlier in this video, let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to add that in for you guys. I never know if anyone's interested in how I get the colors that I get, but if you are, let me know and I'll be sure to include that in my future videos. And so now I'm painting the little peaks of the roof and I did all of them with just a teeny teeny tiny brush and the original paint color. And now I'm taking black chalk pastels and an angled brush and I'm really just slapping the chalk pastels on just anywhere. I really really want it to look kind of aged and worn. And then I also concentrated the chalk pastels, the dark colors, under the windows because I almost kind of wanted it to look like mildew stains. Um, so you'll see that throughout this process. And originally here I darkened the windows up first with chalk pastel and I did try to light this castle up. And with the paint on it, it really didn't look all that great. So I will insert a picture for you so you can see what this castle looks like lit up in case you just want to print it with just the filament because it looks super cool. But I, have, I of course, am obsessed with painting everything. So I went ahead and just chose that. And now I'm using chalk pastels to change the color of the base. When I looked up photos of Hogwarts Castle, the rock that it was sitting on, at least in the pictures that I saw, were, was relatively similar to the castle color, but I wanted some contrast, and I also wanted like it to look almost like there was moss growing on the rocks on the base there. I almost thought about gluing real moss on, but I just felt like with the size of this model, it would have been a little overpowering, so maybe I'll get to do that on another model in the future. 
but right now I'm just playing around with the different shades of chalk pastels and trying to get a color that I feel has enough contrast from the castle but while being similar at the same time. And I kind of decided that I want I wanted more of that green to really show through. So I added some yellow and two different shades of green and I'm just kind of rubbing that on there with a more dense brush at this point to try to get more of a concentrated color and then I'm blending it out with a fluffier brush. And now I mixed a turquoise color and I'm using a very small brush and I am painting the little fountain right in there like the little pond thingy and I'm just painting that with the turquoise paint and then after it dried I went in with triple thick which is basically like a clear sealer and that made it really glossy to kind of give it like a water type look. Now as you can see this base has gotten darker that is because I sprayed it with sealer I used Mr. Super Clear on it and it riched the colors up a little bit and I wanted it to be slightly more on the gray side so I'm taking this fan brush here and I'm lightly streaking different shades of gray and a little bit of brown like taupey colors and I'm just kind of brushing that all over and across the top. And I'm liking the contrast of that much more. And I still want those green kind of mossy tones. And so I'm using the chalk pastels once again to kind of try to give it that look. So now I like this much better because it has the color that I was looking for, but it also had the like rock-like textures. And now I'm taking black paint on a really teeny tiny brush and I'm painting that archway there and now I am painting all the windows and once I paint all the windows that will make this model complete. Alright guys that is it. Thank you so much for watching and guys it, can I ask a favor if you enjoy watching these videos please be sure to subscribe and like these videos and let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that you want to see me 3D print and paint. I would be happy to take that into consideration. So once again guys thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye!